the world. But still is never satisfied and remains thirsty and doesn't pour and pour forever so he calls out for gold. It is an enough! No, it's not outside. A real pool of water in the centerpiece of Metamorphosis at the Guthrie Theater with the actors performing in and around it. The performance getting rave reviews and we're delighted today to be joined by two of the actors, Raymond Fox and Louise Lampson. Welcome and thank you for being with us today. Thank, thank you, you for having uh, us. It's, we're going to get into the pool in a second, but let's talk about what this story is about. Raymond, you want to tell us about it? So Metamorphoses is an adaptation of Ovid's epic poem Metamorphoses, who was a Roman poet retailing retelling these Greek myths that had started in the oral tradition and then he sat down uh, to paper. And the director, Mary Zimmerman, has used a modern translation by David Slavitt. And then she's also adapted some of the myths herself with her own language. And one of them uh, is told using a, a Rilke poem, the Orpheus and Eurydice story. So they, storytelling with this contemporary twist yes, with it. All yes, right. absolutely. And I think sometimes I hear from people that they're surprised how much humor is in it. Mm. Um, but everyone can um, relate to change, both wanted and unwanted. And that's what our play is all about. And especially at these times, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the characters you play. You play more than one role. Yeah. Yes, it's super cool. We're an ensemble of actors that play many different roles throughout because uh, the myths are changing. So um, one of the roles I play is Alcyon. It's a myth uh, called Alcyon and Six that I don't, I didn't know before I did this play. Um, uh, and I, I get to transform into a bird every night. And then I play Ceres. I play Persephone. Um, I play a wood nymph named Pomona, where I get to skip around the stage. So we have a lot of uh, backstage quick changes where we're throwing on a new costume and completely transforming ourselves, and we don't have much time to think, but then we go out on stage and we're a brand new person. And, and Raymond, how about you, your roles? I primarily play King Midas, which is familiar to more people, mm. probably sure. the king who uh, has the desire to turn everything to gold that he touches and then it goes awry. Mm -hmm. Sort of uh, exemplifying yes. greed and the dangers of that. Are there challenges with the pool now, the water, so in and outside that yes. pool there? Yes, there used to be a lot more challenges through the years we've figured things out, yeah. but um, one of the challenges is staying warm, of course. Also, it can be slippery at times, uh, but we have these hot boxes, we call them the hot boxes in the backstage mm -hmm. area, where they're these warming areas so we can change and be comfortable. Um, but yeah, it's it's also, the water keeps it real. There's no sleeping through this show. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're watching it being constructed. Yeah. I mean, it's really a pool that has been built there on the stage. We should also tell, uh, this is your first time, both of you here at the Guthrie, but you perform this in New York, so you're yes. familiar with this, obviously. Do, do our audiences, do they differ from what the audience reaction in New York from this? Or how are you finding us? I think that the play, you know, people will say that these stories have been told for thousands of years. Yeah. And the reason that they're retold is that they're always relevant. As humans, we're always going to struggle with uh, oh. desire and greed and loss and uh, covetousness and all those things. They're not things we're ever going to solve. They'll always be with us. So every place we've been, every time that we've done the play, it's reflective of whatever's going on in the present mm -hmm. moment both outside or in the individuals seeing it. Well, we see a visually a rich production here. You can see uh, we were watching uh, as you were speaking. Thank you both for making time for us today. Uh, congratulations on this uh, wonderful review. So this Metamorphoses is uh, playing at the Guthrie in Minneapolis through May 19th. You can find a link to tickets at carolevan.com. Look under the 4 p.m. show page. Well,